Hello there beautiful people and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News, the show where we dissect trending news, whether it be political, social, economic, etc, etc, okay? So if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're always notified as to when I upload a new video. So everybody, today's trending news is a bit on the political front, okay? So I haven't really done anything political on my channel, but I'm really into politics, I'm actually studying politics politics at the moment and I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what's happening um, on the trending of Twitter basically with um, you know hashtag Ramaphosa leaks we've all seen that it's trending on Twitter currently and I just wanted to give you rundown basic a rundown basically of what's happening okay so according to news 24 this is the article that I have read there are leaked emails that reveal who Ramaphosa's CR17 campaign asked for money now ladies and gentlemen this goes um against what Ramaphosa initially said that um, about basically not knowing who the potential donors were, okay? So according to News24, leaked emails from the heart of the president's office or successful 2017 ANC presidential campaign reveal the names of some of his potential donors here and undermine the defense, as I have already stated, uh, that Ramaphosa was kept at arm's length of his funding. Okay, so basically now we know that... Um, our president could have been uh, potentially lying to us and it's not new guys it's not like we're not we're not new it's not like we knew sorry to our president lying to us okay so news 24 has actually several emails from inside Ramaphosa's campaign that have circulated amongst his political opponents and by anti Ramaphosa accounts on Twitter in the recent days which explains why this story is actually twin trending Wendy, goodness, George. Which explains why this story is actually trending on Twitter at the moment. So News24 has allegedly verified the accuracy of these emails and have understood that Ramaphosa's campaign managers believe that their communication may have been illegally intercepted. Okay. That is not the story here. That is not the story here, whether it was legally or illegally done. Obviously, I'm just reporting and telling you guys what went down. But that is not the story here, whether it was legally or illegally um, reported. Ramaphosa, why are you lying to us, man? Why we are literally just trying to restore our faith? Well, I can speak for myself. I was trying to restore my faith in the ANC after Jacob Zuma. And now you come out with a scandal like this. Like you've been lying to us this whole time, okay? So anyways guys, let me carry on. So the emails were referenced in the public protector's Abutisi Mkwebe's report on 500,000 500, donations to the CR17 campaign. Um, and Mkwebe used a complaint of suspected money laundering with the Watson donation to obtain the CR17 campaign's bank statement and warned, she actually warned in her bank, in her report, sorry, that Ramaphosa may have been captured by his private donors, okay? So guys, let me just give you a rundown. This, I don't want to actually make this video very long. I just wanted to give you guys basically a summary. So the emails in News 24's possession actually so show that the public enterprise minister Pravin Gordon was in central, or was central basically. He was basically the main guy in raising funds for Ramaphosa. The president was also consulted by managers of his campaign about plans to approach several donors, including a Greek shipping tycoon with links to the arms deal and a politically connected socialite previously suspected of smuggling millions of rands of gold out of the country. Yo! Ha ha! I son. Guys, I actually, you know what? Basically, this, this is what the reports show. If you didn't know, what the Ramaphosa, um, or basically hashtag Ramaphosa, Ramaphosa leaks means. Now you know, guys, this is basically, in a nutshell, he was actually aware about his funding campaigns, even though he lied to us, guys, allegedly. Ooh, I don't want people coming for me, I don't have money. Even though he allegedly lied to the country and said that he was basically kept at arm's length about potential donors, and he is mixing with the funds of Greek shipping tycoons that are linked with the arms deal and politically connected socialites who have been suspected of smuggling millions of rands of gold out of the country. This is where I just drop dead and I'm just like, can we, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say y'all, I, I really don't even know what to say. I just think that obviously, you know, 
I, I, don't, I also don't want people coming for me <laughs> if I say my thoughts. I mean, we, we had previously tried to restore, and we're actually still trying to restore our faith in President Ramaphosa, especially after, you know, um, Jacob Zuma Osibonte blind, basically. He showed us flames, guys. And now this is basically breaking my trust in Ramaphosa. And I really did look up to him, guys. I really did. I thought he was on the straight and narrow. I thought that we were over scandals. Um, I don't know what this is about guys. I'm still gonna do lots of reading. I read about two articles But I did read on news 24 and I've given you a rundown and a summary of what's said in the article um, Now it's up to you to form your own judgment Keep on tweeting hashtag Ramaphosa leaks. I'll keep on doing the same. I'll keep on following If I think there's something more to be added, obviously I'll make another video and sort of update you guys on that Guys, tell me in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think that um our president was basically being a bit naughty. Do you think he deserves a slap on the wrist? What do you think? Where do you think we should go from now on? Tell me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And also share my videos if you like them. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, and I'm also sick. I'm out here recording and I'm sick. I love you guys so, so, so much. Keep sharing my videos. Keep watching.